any questions? What day is today? Oh man. Uh, today is the 29th, which is a Tuesday. Good day to arrest. Oh, the, the uh, yeah, kill, kill Brianna Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, I mean, so we just start. The reason that there was even any question as to whether or not the uh, uh, the police who killed Brianna Taylor should be arrested is because no knock raids were the law of the land. The law they literally created a situation in which it was both legal for Brianna Taylor's boyfriend to kill the people that broke into their home without announcing who they were, and legal for the people who broke into their home without announcing who they were to shoot back because they were enforcing a legal document. Now it's arguable that it's unconstitutional, but it hasn't been challenged to that point. And that is a side effect of the war on drugs. There was never any demand from government to be able to break into your house until they needed to be able to get in there before you flush the evidence down the toilet. So this isn't just about ending no-knock raids, although we need to do that as well. It's also about dismantling the war on drugs because they never would have been there in the first place and they never would have had a document like a no-knock warrant if there hadn't been for the war on drugs. Thank you. That's what today is. Any other Any other questions? Go ahead. So um, I want to thank you and Joe for, I've been following on social media and I think you guys have been putting out some great content that really addresses what the two major parties are not addressing in a very uh, coherent way. Um, but there was one thing I saw that was a little bit concerning. Um, Joe had released a list of like potential Supreme Court nominees and uh, one of the people listed was Alan Dershowitz, Alan Dershowitz. and uh, he's very anti-Second Amendment, very pro-gun control. Um, he's very opposed to like anybody who speaks out for the rights of Palestinian people or abuses that the Israeli government is doing against Palestinian people. He accuses of racism. Um, he was on Epstein's legal team and he secured a non-prosecution agreement years ago for Epstein that a judge had recently thrown out and said it totally violated the victim's rights. Yep. And he's also very pro-torture and thinks that the government should be able to secure warrants to torture people. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering if there was like an explanation for why he was in any way considered for the Supreme Court. Joe, uh, within a matter of hours of him being on that list, Joe herself removed him. He was a terrible choice. Well, I'm glad to hear that that happened. I did not know that. Yeah, he, he was removed later that day. He was, he was not a good choice. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hey, can you comment on the existing relationship that some federal agencies and some state law enforcement agencies have as far as using other to uh, profit off asset forfeiture? Oh, the civil asset forfeiture needs to end. And a lot of people, because it's usually managed at the state level, the assumption is that it's a state issue. It's not. Civil asset forfeiture, which uh, uh, Joe Biden is one of the architects of, is a federally managed program. It is run through the federal civil asset forfeiture program. So it's, it's, it's often carried out at the state level, but it is a federal program that's trickles down, for lack of a better word, to the states. And for those who don't know what civil asset forfeiture is, imagine the police come to your home and they say, you're under arrest, now give us all your stuff. We're going to seize everything that you have because you're being arrested for one of the crimes that we're allowed to engage in civil asset forfeiture. And we're going to take all of your things. Or we're gonna take any of your things that we think were gotten as a result of the drug trade, which just happens to be pretty much anything that you own of any real value, like your home or your car. And at a time when you may need to use those things and leverage them to pay for your bail or your defense, instead, it's used to pay for your prosecution, which is a total violation of your due process rights. And if by some miracle you are still found not guilty or are the charges are dropped, you then have to sue the government for your own stuff back. And of course, you have to pay for that money you don't have, even though it was just proven in court that they never should have taken it from you in the first place. That is civil asset forfeiture. It absolutely needs to end. There is no justification for it for any purpose. Uh, the entire concept of innocent until proven guilty, it flies in the face of that entirely because if you are innocent until proven guilty, then you should be able to use your assets that you have to fund your defense. And that's, I mean, civil asset forfeiture is just a terrible program. It is a total violation of our rights uh, and, and it, it needs to end. There, there's no justification for it. Thank you. Thank you. And the reason that it came about was the war on drugs, because we got to get those rich drug dealers. 